chapter of the NIT India conference was unfolded here in Goa in 2017. And I have great pleasure in introducing you to Mr. Amitabh Chaudhary, the managing director and CEO of Axis Bank. People's personal brand no longer uses the employer brand as a marker, but looks at specific skills and experiences towards how they position themselves as talent. For many of us, employer names were how we wrote our resumes. That is what our anchor was. If you take a look at LinkedIn, for example, the headlines now are less about Google, Amazon, and whatever names you want to take. But people talk about, did product at Zomato, did build payments at Access Bank. So they're talking about what they have done. Organization is just the means. Organizations are unable to give a longer view to the associates or to their employees. People are also looking at different dimensions in terms of how technology industry can be friendly uh, to the environment as well. So we are never in a normal world in my opinion, but you know we have to adapt to these changes and how fast and how well we adapt will help us survive and thrive. But the remaining basic fundamentals will continue to remain same. For example, if you are training, the key fundamentals of the nurturing people, innovation, uh, extensive knowledge sharing, all that will continue. But the methodology are the adopting that in the different world. That's new normal is what I can say. The IT industry change is constant, so for specifically the IT industry, yes, it's a little bit of a change, but it's not that dramatic. But all the other things, that the fears that we have, the anxieties that we have, the ego, the, the problem of how, how can I see I do not know. Imagine if you can be free of that. Particularly the session by Ashish Vidyarthi who spoke a lot about motivating yourself, believing in yourself and having a strong belief that you can do whatever you think and add value not only to others but to you as well. Availability of these experienced talent is concentrated in tier 1 cities, right? So when we want to spread our tentacles and go into the tier 2 and tier 3 cities and really talk about Bharat, in addition to what we already have a presence in the bigger cities, we do not have that availability of experienced talent. If you have not been performing for a while, if you've not got as many runs as you should have, then very hard questions get asked of you. And taken to do a particular task can be clearly quantified, reduce it. dream come true for all of us if we can say or we can actually go to one spot in any of our portal and say that this is how my talent landscape looks like these are the number of engineers how many of them are product engineers what kind of skills do they have how many of them are software engineers what kind of skills do they have what how many of them are sales task force and what kind of competencies and skills do they have how many of us today have a very solid and robust skill metrics? You can proudly say about 75% of the people which we hired from the universities last year were successfully deployed and we did not hire everyone in one bulk. We did it in batches from some place or the other, but when we look at it, we were in 75 to 78% range of deployability. Which means the moment I finished up my training, the project which you thought you will put this individual on and the training you invested in would give them the benefit, they got that.
complexity that we have to constantly manage is essentially handling the scale of what we do. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter whether your customer is in a tier one city or a tier three or four location, the experience has to be excellent because customers really don't come for products. When they engage with a banking or a financial services organization, they engage because they want to have a long-term relationship with that organization, which is based on trust. We were really forced to change more and move towards digital much more by the pandemic. What could have happened or could, what could have probably in a board meeting we would have planned for five years pre-pandemic all happened in that 12 months. And I think the biggest challenge was to match the space. The breakthrough was the session by Harsha Bogle. The panel discussions were quite enriching. There were quite a lot of significant learnings that I've personally had. But the breakthrough was Harsha Bogle's session. You know, Goa is a nice place. Uh, the, the venue is great, but more importantly, some of the discussions that we are having in Confluence, uh, some of the guest speakers. I heard uh, Ashish Vidyarthi, you know, today in the morning, uh, Harsha Bhogle, you know, kind of a little earlier. This was very, 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 very fine, very good. Uh, in, in fact, in fact, some of the panel discussions, uh, some of the speakings really gave me a lot to think about and I'll, I'll take that with me uh, as I go away from Confluence.